Hey, fish heads. TGIF. Thank goodness I fish. This is the normal desk shop talk. I uh, hope you guys tuned in and, and watched the upload last night. It's on there this morning of the setup and installation and first test run of the compressor. Love the thing. Really looking forward to a lot of consistency and pressure coming out of that and uh, some, some really quality baits getting painted. Here's what we got this morning. We'll give you the quick rundown. We're gonna start with this Grim Reaper. Love doing these things this time of year because you know frog season's gonna be kicked in here in a bit. This is on that uh, Max style. Gill through flow technology right there. The baby garter snake, this is uh these are all orders. So the baby garter snake I haven't done in a little while, but they're just such cool patterns that all this stuff is getting shipped out this morning. Just a great love the snake eyes on it. Great little bait. There's a mud runner. It's a fluorescent yellow into a green head, fading down into a root beer reddish color on the belly, the segments. And then uh, we did a little excavating of some of the segments here. Kind of gives you that internal 3D image. A little bit of layering. So that was definitely a fun one to do. We've got a bright thread fin on one of these pre-foiled Lucky Craft pressings with some fluorescent orange and yellow on the belly. And we got that uh, that real cool technique that I love to do, that acid, acid wash look. I can't talk this morning. I don't know why I can't. It was a long day yesterday. Long day at Home Depot. Um, you know, it felt like I was up there like every, I uh, only went there a couple times, so not bad. Bright thread. This is your standard foiled, the little, the black back shad. Put some red eyes on it. These are going out to uh, Greg Gilly. We'll do a couple more for him. I just, I love this foiling pattern. I wish that this, this particular foil pattern was available in the States. Um, I, I haven't been able to find it anywhere. If you guys have found it, let me know. Um, Hamilton Crawl. And I have started adding the internal segment. You can see on both sides here. We got two of those going out. This will actually, yeah, these will go out tomorrow. I'm gonna put some eyes on here shortly. And they get some really cool red eyes. This is, uh, a, this is a, not a knockoff. This is an actual Norman's Deep Little Inn. These are fun, fun, fun patterns to paint as well. This is that Rotten Strawberry Craw that I've started turning out. You guys really love this pattern, and I like it too. Um, this will go 9 to 12 comfortably. This is that 9 to 12 foot range, similar to what the rock crawlers do. Cool thing about this, the bend in the bill really gets down to its depth quickly. Um, I don't know if you guys have fished the Norman Deep Little Ends, but they are a really good choice uh, when they're just getting ready to come up and start staging. You can kind of grab those suspended bass this time of year that are thinking about coming up for spawn if you're in the southern part of the states. And then we have, last but certainly not least, another Mid-South Craw. You can see, pull this up into the light here, you can see that there's some like a foiled blue underneath this one. This is on an existing bait. This is not on a blank. This is that 62-5A. That's a better shot. If you can see that under foiling on these, just gives it a little bit something extra that you wouldn't normally have on a regular if you use just a white base coat. And you can kind of see that blue up into behind it through the bottom there. So lots of fun with that. And that is your TGIF Thank goodness I fish Friday shop talk. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Happy fishing. If you guys are watching the Super Bowl, be responsible. Don't drink and drive. Have a great, great weekend. And the Super Bowl, although I could care less about either team that's playing in it, 
it's it's the end of the winter at least in some sort of form because next thing you know the boys of summer are going to be right around the corner and there's going to be uh, the daytona 500 coming up and then all of the spring and summer activities and yes lots and lots of bass fishing hey another option to any kind of football or basketball is major league fishing is finishing up today on toho in florida in the everglades so or actually mid that's mid florida that's the orlando area it's not the everglades but it's uh i think the kissimmee chain of lakes in florida so go check that out mlf.com and we will see you later happy casting